Hello guys, Andreas XP here, and today we are playing Kerbal Space Program again. It was a long time, uh, I know, I just, you know, wasn't really interested in that, but now I'm interested, very interested, and uh, we're gonna build a saving ship for those guys that we left over uh, on the moon last time. So, yeah, uh, I'm planning on doing uh, like something like a moon base. I think, but um, we're not going to build a big station for them. Uh, for now, we're just going to build uh, a savior ship and just get them out of there. Hopefully, in one single shot, if possible. Um, I built some kind of those things already, but they were very bulky. That were they like had four full-sized uh, rockets clenched up together. And that wasn't really what I wanted, and uh, they also were leaving a lot of uh, junk in the space, which I also don't like. Uh, you know, some people think, eh, well, well, the orbit is so big, so the Earth is big and uh, the orbit is bigger even, and uh, you, you, do, you know, I don't really care. And that's actually bad, because it, it's really not, not that good as you think it is. Okay, let's add some more, should we? No, we shouldn't. Um, let's do the most, the, the best rocket we can ever build. Yeah, like that. Add everything we can add and we should add without any compromises. And what I'm looking right now is I'm looking for some heat panels, I think. I think we had those, didn't we? Maybe they removed them in the later updates. Maybe structural? Or oh, iron dynamics, I guess. Yeah, here they are. Uh, we need 2.5 meters. So, yeah, that will be the capsule uh, for re re entry. Uh, with a parachute, of course. Uh, so, if this is going to go to enter, we need a decoupler going here and this is where the main part of the rocket will be uh, okay how we how we build this we need to do this as slick as possible so it doesn't burn in atmosphere uh, let's maybe hmm I know I, I didn't really think that through so should we? Uh, yeah, we should uh, add a decent fuel tank, of course. Uh, maybe this big. Yeah, would be nice. Okay, so we're gonna do it uh, Apollo style. So, if you don't know, Apollo missions, the ones that brought uh, people to the moon, they had like two main parts. One, uh, the big part, uh, well, two parts that were flying to the moon. One part was uh, staying at the orbit, and the second part were coming down, uh, was coming down to the moon, and then coming back up uh, to the orbit, getting together with the second part, and they were both happy and going back to Earth, like that. Um, and that's basically what uh, I am trying to do right now. Not sure if that will work. Okay, obviously we're, we're gonna uh, launch the thing unmanned, so we're gonna need some remote guidance units um, and some batteries as well for them. Somewhere here, okay, this didn't work. Please attach. Thank you. Now let's attach this. Um, Okay, the first part, the part is basically done. Let's do some engines. I kind of like these ones. Uh, by the way, if you are playing this Kerbal Space Program, you should take a look at the engine ISP right here. Uh, this is very important. Uh, the higher it is, the like the the more efficient the, your engine is. So this one has an ISP of three or five in vacuum. It means the space where we're gonna use it. Which is uh, kind of decent. Uh, I wonder 
this one has an SP of 350, which is way better. Uh, we're gonna throw this one in the lander module, I guess. This one, 345, 320, 300. Hmm. Kind of hard to choose now. And this one. Uh, oh man. Should I? Should I do that? Yeah, fuck yeah, let, let, let's take this one's 320 Or maybe... Okay, uh, I don't, don't really have another choice here This one, are, these ones are radio And that's why I wanted them mm. Tough choice Okay, let's, let, let's do them mm, If we'll have a good station with our fuel supply It's not a big deal, we'll just uh, not use them and use the lander engine to do our maneuver to moon. Okay. So now let's do the other part. The, the, the rock is getting pretty big. I kind of I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, okay, let's do one a health tank for the lander. Maybe let's, you know what, let's also do one and a half for the upper part because I, I don't feel like we need that much. Like this. Okay, uh, some engines again. We we'll let two because we don't need more power. Okay, and now we'll have this Poodle engine. I like this one a lot, and some landing legs. About four would be quite good. Okay, let's extend them and see. Yeah, we have plenty of space here. Shouldn't be too bad. I guess uh, I'll move them a little bit down. Like this. Oh, and now they are not connected for some reason. Where's the, the right leg to move? Man, uh, I kind of move, move, want to move them in. Yeah, that, that's by the way, that's my biggest concern with uh, Kerbal Space Program game. It's um, it's very good in building rockets while you're building them according to how designers and like makers of Kerbal Space Program wanted it, want, wanted you to make them. Uh, and when you start doing something that they didn't intend, it just becomes so hard to do what you want. Just terrible. Okay, so this is the main part. Uh, by the way, we forgot some stuff. <laughs> I, I always forget that. First of all, the control wheels that we are going to need in the lander unit. Oh man, we also need the... Uh, remote control in the lander unit as well because when they disconnect I won't be able to control this I forgot that oh man okay uh, some batteries please thank you this becomes very long I'm very, I'm very worried about that hmm uh, okay and the thing that I forgot uh, we're not gonna throw any um, control like this stuff. How it's called? Advanced uh, re reaction wheels in onto this module because we're gonna control it entirely with the RCS thrusters. And the RCS thrusters and it's bas basically another mm, way uh, to control your vehicle. And we're going to use this. As how do you, do I throw them in the middle or on the side? It should be in the middle, right? I wonder where where is middle in this. We can do that with the central mass, so it has like as much control as we can uh, make. Okay, nice. That's done. Uh, 
Now let's do the same thing on the control module, kind of in the middle, I can't quite see here, where is the middle, I guess somewhere over here. This, this will be for docking, because they are gonna undock and they're, they, then they are gonna dock back. Uh, okay. So, also, what, what am I doing here? What I need, I need fuel tanks for my docking. That's very important. Like this, uh, about two. Would be nice on each module. Just to be sure that we uh, don't run out of fuel if we fuck up the first time docking. Happens sometimes, you know. Okay, uh, something else that I should consider doing. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, so, so dumb. I forgot the the main part that I needed. I forgot the lander capsule. We need that as well. How was I able to forget? MK2 lander can. So dumb. It will be in the top because it's uh, a bit more. Like uh, re resistant to how do you? Oh, man, I'm not good with English today. Uh, yeah, it has a little bit. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of crash tolerance. I thought it had. Never mind. Ne never mind. We'll just put it on here. And uh, also, I'm going to rotate the other side so we can put the ladders. Maybe like this. Yeah. And now let's put the letters back. Uh, let's zoom in. Uh, retract the legs. That's how you put your letters. So they work perfectly. Now let's find my letter. The big one. Delos LV. Extended. Yeah, and it's like... Position it so it's right on the level where the legs are. And for the other side, at the other side, let's put some. Where is it? Some normal letters, mobility enhancers. I'm I'm sorry. If uh, some astronauts are watching me or ship constructors, I'm sorry for calling it wrong. It's a mobility enhancer. Okay. I wonder if this uh, game uh, actually re represents how real in real agencies they build rockets. Do they have like mm, some kind of like uh, parts, module, modular parts uh, that you just attach one to another? I guess they can make some shit. Do you see what I see? I forgot to no turn off the symmetry mode. And now we have two ladders, la ladders on both sides. And that's not, not not good. Okay. Man, it, and it's now no, not placing where I wanted. Come on, game. Let me play. Okay. Uh, what I'm doing right here, if you don't understand, I'm taking them and, pl and placing them back. And because I'm not in the symmetry mode, it's basically removing the other side. And I can now happily do my job. Let's see if this works. This worked. Nice. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is very dull. Look at this. This part is going to be landing and, and uh, that's not, not very good. Okay, hopefully I'll work it out. We have the um, control thing. We should put it. A, uh, we should have should have put it a bit um, upper, but I don't think that really matters. Okay, let's reject the ladder. Let's reject everything. Nice. Um, now. 
we need to take it to the orbit somehow. And for that, let's move it up a bit. A bit. Uh, let's add a decoupler here. Will be our uh, new stage. Let's do the carbodyne adapter because I'm I love to use carbodyne tanks. They're big and have a lot of fuel in them. Okay, like this. Oh, I thought that was some kind of part moving, and that's just the elevator. Okay, and smash some engines onto this baby. This one has a lot of engine ISP. I wonder if the cluster has... Well, it has way less, I would say. But it has uh, more in the atmosphere. So I think we're gonna use this. And it's uh, way better in terms of power too. Uh, but that's not all, uh, because this thing for itself will not be able uh, to take us to the orbit. We'll need to make some... My, my favorite Rachel decouplers. About six, I guess. And smash some... Kickbacks onto it. Uh, obviously, we need to move them down a bit. Okay, so they're actually touching the ground. I don't uh, use the support struts uh, that you have, where they. A lot of people use them. Launch stability enhancer. Yeah. I. Uh, hmm. I, I, I don't think you really need that. Uh, especially when you got a big rocket like this, that is tall, but it has a, a, a big base to it. I'm all about the base. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's put the this, this, this babies together so they actually face the right way. Please. Can I do that? No. Oh, fuck you then. I'm gonna do the type A those cones. Okay, and now the most important part, where I usually fuck up, is to put the struts for good. Usually they have, uh, yeah, we have like angle snaps, which helps a lot in terms of building symmetrical and uh, all the other types of, uh, well, symmetrical rockets, of course, yeah. And But um, the problem with the struts is, you have... Man, this, ter this is terrible stats. Okay... Can I... Can I please... Move the stats? No? You can... Oh, man. Control Z? Yeah, it works. Uh, they have an elegance step when you place them, but they don't when you place the second part. Which is so, so terrible that it kind of break some rockets even like mine rockets okay so uh, I think I think that will be enough uh, I should add more in, 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 in the down part yeah so um, because when the engine is when when they're going going to be uh, empty at the in the middle of the flight they're gonna turn off and uh, uh, have a bit of force going, uh, moving them back and if, and if I don't have struts here, they're just gonna wreck my engine here and maybe one of the tanks, so that's not good. Holy shit, I spent like 20 minutes building this thing. Holy crap, I didn't expect that. Oh, I'm so sorry guys if you get got bored about this. Holy hell. Okay, let's launch this then. I, I guess we are ready, right? Remove everybody. We're gonna to do. We're going to do an unmanned vehicle. Let's check the stages. First of them is this one. Then the separators. 
with the engine, uh, I think the engine is going to be with the separators, then the separators and this engine, no that's not right, then the separators and this three, uh, th this two, and this one here, then the decoupler when, I, when we are going back, and the parachute. I guess that's all that we need to do. Uh, right? Right? Yeah, let's launch it. Holy shit, I spent a lot of time doing this. Okay. We are ready to fly it. Okay, let's wait for it to come down. Enable the control system. Power up. And... Uh, go! That's... <laughs> that's pathetic. It's kind of moving up a bit. I can't really see. Yeah, it's moving up a bit. That's terrible. Look at this. I built it, not the other guys that I can blame. Uh, okay. Let's just wreck everything. Look at him go! And now I have like... <laughs> little frames per second. Falling down in slow motion. Oh, fun fact! The launch Oh, never mind. I guess that will be the end for this episode, guys. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to do that still in the next episode. I I'm going to fix this a bit and uh, launch it back. But for now, thank you for watching. That was Andres XP, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.